Hey there everyone, this is Mekion. I hate this next level. So do many of you who have posted in the thread. This is good. Now experience the pain and fury of the globe holder. By the way, if you ever get a chance to play this game on actual hardware, I suggest playing this level because these things that are holding this thing in place look much better. So, globe holder. As you can see, it is my avatar. As you can also see, it is a giant fucking ball held in place. Like most bosses, this is a two-phase fight. Phase one, we have to knock the globe holder against the wall a couple of times. This is harder than you think because it's stuck in place. Thankfully, after spamming it for a while, can actually shake the fucking thing loose and start bashing it against walls. Once we get one of the things loose, like that. Oh, okay, that's good. I got both of them loose this time. It's much better than my previous run. I had actually recorded the run of this yesterday, but the recording fucked up, so I never actually got to do it. After you've shaken him loose, he can rejoin them. However, he's much easier to get off. I'm actually kind of sad my old recording actually fucked up and it was so easy this time because last time it took me about uh, a good five minutes just to get him loose. Oh shit. Okay, this is the hard part. If he scrapes you against the wall, you take damage. He he is a fucking hard boss. If you so much as go in between the wall and him, you will take more damage than you thought possible. This is pretty much the hardest boss in the game. As you saw, he fucking wrecked me twice. And just from touching him in the wall at the same time, I've taken a fuck ton of damage already. This is hard. This is one of the bosses where I advocate safe state abusing. If only to preserve your sanity. See, just from getting scraped between him and the wall, I've already gone down to no health. This is pretty much exactly what happened during my test video as well. Now, the way to actually kill him is to just stay near him and run out of the way when he comes to attack you. As you see, this doesn't always work because I've died. I'm blind. This is the only boss that can reliably smear to me. It's... Every other boss, it's just luck or timing. As you saw with the Moray Eel, as if I got to the right time, I could just murder him indiscriminately if I don't forget that so I can kill him. But because you need to lure this boss everywhere... Ugh, fucker! This makes him about ten times harder than everything else. You can't hurt him at all. It's only by getting crushed against the wall that he can even hurt you. Unfortunately, that's the only way you can even hit him, so... The best way to do this is to take it slow. If you go too fast, you're gonna find yourself just getting surprised out of nowhere by getting fucked over. And I think we're... Oh, good, we're done. I wonder where he is. Alright, I'm just gonna show you this because this has fucked me over so many times. Hmm, I've killed the globe holder. Well, you have to keep sweating... Oh! I died while he was dead. Yeah. You wouldn't believe how many times that's fucked me over. But with the globe holder defeated, we have the last two orbs. Now, welcome to Convergence and the truthful appearance of one of the best soundtracks in the entire game. Convergence's theme is great, and we're going to be hearing a lot of it. 
in the next video. I'm just going to take it slow through here because, well, there's no rush. I'm not sure if I have actually told you, but this game adds sharks that swim in from the background. I don't know if there's any difference between them and regular sharks, but I think they're a nice feature. Oh yeah, Echo's back in business. However, stopping the Vortex Menace will have to wait till next time. So until then everyone, this is Mechion saying see yous.